I don't know if I got a lot of uh, Code Geass stands out there in the f***ing Roadman audience, but uh, I'm putting this out there, man. Code Geass was this amazing anime that came out in like the early 2000s, like I think I think 2005 or something like that. Spectacular, one of my favorite animes of all time. Uh, Attack on Titan was right up there with it until Attack on Titan tried to copy Code Geass's ending and absolutely fumbled the bag and made a fucking disaster instead. But Code Geass was the original and it had a perfect ending. And then they kind of got greedy and they did some fucky stuff where they made like recap movies but they changed some of the lore or some of the canon with like some characters survived and then they did like another one where they brought they brought the character back to life i don't know and now suddenly in 2024 fucking 20 years later almost seemingly out of nowhere in my opinion there's a new code geos show code geos rose of the recapture which takes place after the original code geos anime but it's just not very good and i think there's a couple of reasons for that uh first of all it's just the setting and the state of the world in the original it was just a classic the britannian empire controls the vast majority of the world and this exiled prince is going to use his secret supernatural abilities and his genius strategic mind to formulate a resistance to push back against this unstoppable empire like star wars like lord of the rings you know like a like a fucking story I'm gonna push back and we're gonna have this resistance and we're gonna save the world and now the world has already been saved so we're living in a post saved world and they've decided that Japan which was like the hub of a lot of stuff that happened in the original Code Geass they put up this big fucking wall they needed to build a wall around Japan to keep it safe so that uh, shit like that didn't happen anymore problem is People inside Japan created a little Neo-Britannian Empire, popped up inside Japan, and they took over Japan, and then they flipped the wall, so now the wall is keeping everyone in, and the whole rest of the world are all the good guys, but they can't get into Japan to help because of these fucking walls. And it's just really not as interesting, the stakes don't seem as high, because it really is just like... Well, if we can just fucking find a way through the wall, then the situation should be solved, right? So you'd think all of your time and energy should be, how do we get through the wall? But it almost fucking never comes up. Like, nobody even brings it up as an option to try and take down the wall, which, spoiler alert, they do later, and it seems like it was pretty fucking easy to do. So, like, I don't know, man. But I think the main reason that it sucks is just the characters. They just can't hold a candle to the original GOATs. Rose is not Lelouch. Ash is not Suzaku. They just aren't. And it really is Lelouch. Lelouch is, was Code Geass. It'd be like if they had a Death Note sequel without Light Yagami, without Ryuk, and they just tried to have some other dudes there, and it's like, okay, yeah, there's a Death Note, but it's not the same. The heart and soul of the show was so entwined with that character that when you remove him from it, it kind of falls apart. And you can't help but compare Rose or what's her fucking name kugurugi Su suguru sakura sakuya you can't compare lelouch to sakuya or is it sakura i can't remember you just you can't help but do it in your head and she's just nowhere near as smart she's nowhere near as interesting her inner dilemmas are just not there she's not as good of a character another thing that i personally don't like are the nightmare frames in the original show there was sort of like uh, an arms race with these nightmare frames, the mechs they've been using, where in the very beginning, they're quite grounded, uh, they're just like a mech with a gun, and they drive around and they shoot, and then by the end of the series, some of the specialized mechs get pretty fucking crazy, most of the mechs have advanced to the point where they're flying, but it doesn't tip that edge into being, like, ridiculous quite yet, but this show, because it takes place, like, like, ten years later or something like that, it starts with the mechs being just fucking ridiculous from the ground up. And that was one of the other things that Code Geass had going for it was this sort of the technology built up as this war ramped up. But now it's like the technology's already crazy and it's not really a war because the world is already at peace. Like it's just fucking weird. And the latest plot line is that this fucking like guy builds a bunch of robots to try and kill everyone on Earth. Uh, just because that's it before it was like 
flawed humans, this royal Britannian empire that was holier than thou, that wanted to subjugate and control the world, and now it's like one guy with a doomsday machine and he wants to kill everyone with robots because he hates humans. I don't know, man. Kind of goofy. New Code Geass anime, not very good. Old Code Geass anime, whoo, you should go watch it.